I want to simplify these three equations, benchmark 7b. Um, if I simplify this, what you'll notice here is you first have to factor the top and factor the bottom. Well, the top is a uh, factoring where you have to multiply the front coefficient by the last coefficient, and that gives you negative 6, and then negative 1 goes on the bottom. And when you think of two things that multiply to get negative 6 and add to get negative 1, um, what you'll get is negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, and negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. And then so your answer, when you do this, ends up being x minus 3y and x plus 2y. Now the reason I put the y's here is because there's a y there and a y there, so you end up having to put y's next to the negative 3 and 2. Now, if there was no y here or y here, it would just be x minus 3, x plus 2. But since you have the y's, you have to put the y's on. Anyways, and then where did I get this green 2? Well, these green 2's is because I multiplied the 2 in to get the top number, I have to divide it back out. When you, the negative 3 over 2 does not reduce, so you take the 2, bring it up front. There it is. This does reduce to 1, so we're good. So again, what you do is you divide again by the first a value, a is the first coefficient, divide both pieces, and then if it doesn't reduce it, and then what's left over, bring up. If there's no thing left over, don't bring anything up. Okay, and the bottom, you can pull it an x out. See the x? When you pull an x out, you're left with 2x minus 3y on the bottom. These cancel, leaving you this as an answer. Now just be careful, a lot of you want to cancel the x's. You cannot cancel when there's a plus between. So the answer is not y, you cannot cancel. Do not do that. It's very commonly done. Number two, we're multiplying these two rational expressions. In order to do that, we've got to factor everything. The top can't factor. The bottom is a simple diamond, so negative 12 on top, negative 1 on bottom. These two multiply to get the top, add to get the bottom, leaving you x minus 4, x plus 3. Over here, pull the 2 out, leaving you x squared minus 9. And then um, here, I pull the negative 2 out. And there's a reason you'll see in a little bit why I pull the negative 2 and not just a positive 2 out of the bottom. When I do that, I get negative 3 plus x. OK. Now, as you can see, I've canceled the x minus 4s here. I canceled the 2 and the negative 2. And then it looks like I factored this. This is the difference of squares. This would be x minus 3, x plus 3. When you FOIL, it gives you a difference of squares. And so again, those cancel, those cancel, leaving you on top just with the 1 here, the x plus 3. This is factored. And then what I did here is I, re I reconfigured this as x minus 3 and the negative 1. Now the reason I wanted this as x minus 3 is because what you'll notice is these will cancel. That's important. If you did not pull out a negative 2 way back here, you wouldn't have noticed the cancellation. Or you would have lost the negative, one of the two. Anywho, so those cancel, and then the x plus 3s cancel, leaving you just 1 over negative 1, which is negative 1. So everything cancels a negative 1, which is kind of crazy. This whole big thing is negative 1. All right, number 3. If we're minusing, a little bit different, you need to get a common denominator. So you want to pull out a GCF here, and here you want to factor using this little method. So when you factor this, you get this. When you pull the GCF out, you get this. And what you do then is you go, okay, I need a common denominator. So you go, what does this guy, looks over here, he looks at him and goes, what does this over here in green have on the bottom that I don't have over here? And he goes, oh, you have an x minus 7. So he goes, I need an x minus 7, so I match you. So this guy over here decides, I want an x minus 7 to match the guy on the right, or the expression on the right, on the denominator. And you can't just multiply by the bottom, you have to do top and bottom. So he multiplies top and bottom. Over here, this one looks over here and goes, what do you have over here that I don't have? And he goes, oh, I need an x. So he multiplied x top and bottom again so that he now has what this guy has. So if you look at it, both now have what each other have. So they're nice and content. They're able to subtract now that they have a common denominator. So again, you're looking for, this guy looks over here. What does he have that he does not possess? And this guy looks over here and goes, what does he have that I don't possess? And you need to multiply top and bottom. OK, now if you FOIL this on top, you get this. That's his 3x. Don't forget the minus. And the reason is minus, you leave the bottom. Here's why the bottom's all one thing. And we're subtracting the tops. 
So I FOIL this, leave this. And then when I combine all this, I simply get this. I cannot factor the top, so I'm done. That is my answer. The key here is get a common denominator. And you have to multiply top and bottoms to create a common denominator. Here, you don't need a common denominator. Okay, you just got to factor everything, cancel diagonally or top and bottom. And here you just factor and then cancel as well. Just be careful on all your factoring on these ones. Um, they're factoring, a lot of factoring.